So many people will come in and they will say that they have a history of keloid scarring and they wonder how this is going to apply to their surgery. And it's a really important question because how you scar does certainly make a difference, especially as it applies to the different procedures that you might consider and how noticeable or not noticeable a scar may be. So one of the first concepts that's really important is whether something is a keloid scar or something that's a little bit lesser known, which would be a hypertrophic scar. A keloid scar is a scar that is almost like a tumorous or benign growth of scar tissue. It's a scar that outgrows its original boundaries um, and becomes big and overgrown. One of the perfect examples is of an ear piercing. So someone gets their ear pierced, we know it's just a very small little needle pinprick, and then the scar becomes the size of a ping pong ball or you know, potentially bigger. A hypertrophic scar on the other side is a scar that can be raised and firm and wide, but it doesn't overgrow its original boundaries. Now, why is this an important distinction? This is important because the way that we treat them is very different. A keloid scar is known to come back almost no matter what you do. And sometimes we resort to um, measures like radiation in order to prevent it from coming back. A hypertrophic scar can typically respond to a repeat surgery or in some cases injections with steroids in order to prevent it from being so firm or hard. So knowing that distinction can really make a difference for your surgeon as to how you should be treated in the immediate post-operative period or if one of these scars is formed with how it can be treated in the long term as well. 